Hey guys, welcome back. Personally, when I'm looking for a suitcase, I've uh, been on the hunt for a suitcase that has an outside pocket because I want to put my laptop there. I don't carry my laptop on my back because after a while the laptop feels heavy and it's going to kill my back. My flights are very long, international flights. And if I can alleviate that uh, back issue, I will. And that's why this particular bag really attracted me. And let me show you the feature of the outside pocket. The pocket is actually flush inside the suitcase. And I'm going to talk about the two. You push it with this button right here. And it pops open and it's held closed by this hook right here. And you close it. And once you've closed it like this and with the TSA lock here, this lock locks both this lock and this lock, which is a great feature. I love that. In this front pocket, you have one big pocket here. You have a small one here. I thought it stretches, but it's not stretchy. Uh, and then it has a USB cord. It doesn't come with a power bank, but it has this. My MacBook Pro is a 13 inch, but over here, maybe I can add in my, my laptop. This is my iPad Pro 11 inch. And on this side, you don't have any pocket. So also another thing about this door is I found it, I don't know, a little flimsy to me. And it can be opened all the way down here by unzipping this like that. And the whole thing will come out. And it will lie flat and you'll be able to get your stuff out. So let's lock it up. Okay. And that was able to lock. And I saw a few reviews. I was talking about how once you lock over here, there was a gap between right here, like between the door and here, but I don't see any gap right now. So it's pretty flush, but I'm gonna try and put in my brake for the laptop and let's see how that works. Okay, so that will not close. What if I put it on the floor? So that, that will close. But as you can see, it kind of gaps just a little bit. It's not flush all the way in. And I can see what people are talking about. Like it has this little movement. And on this side, I can see what they're talking about. What if I removed put the brick? That's better. So my only issue with this is, of course, you're not going to check in your laptop in case you're asked to check in this bag. The reviews were a bit concerning because they say they're not sure how this little thing was going to be able to secure this front part if you were to check this bag in. The wheels on the bag, pretty smooth, very nice. So this measures about 21 by 13 and a half by 9-ish. So right there, it is 9.88. Comparing to this one that I bought a while ago from Amazon, and I'm gonna put a link to this one. This one is 7.72. It is about 22, 13, nine-ish. Almost the same, but like I, this one has a zipper and this one, you open it like that. And this is from the company 90go. I'm going to attach the link. Same thing. This one also you can open over here on the side so, and it's going to lay flat. This is stretchy. And this one has a slot for a laptop and a slot for an iPad. It even shows you the little logo and I'm going to put them in and we're going to see how they fit. This one has a dedicated zipper. That's how it looks like. So as you can see, the suitcase is pretty heavy for a carry-on. I cannot justify buying a carry-on that's nine pounds because like I said, I normally fly international and these international airlines are extremely stingy with their weight restrictions. For example, um, for economy, they range from 15 pounds to 26 pounds. The bag is already nine pounds. By the time you put on a power bank, 
maybe a change of clothes just in case you know your flight is delayed or something and a few things you're gonna put in the carry-on you already hit the mark for business it's 32 pounds from 32 pounds to 39 pounds fine if you're flying business then maybe you can carry that but again for me even if i'm flying business no for me it's just too heavy and that's the main reason why i'm returning uh, this suitcase so let's look at uh, inside of the bag and this side is a zip around and you have two pockets right there and then you have this other one over here and then over here you have this one and you just push that and that open so this is a side that has the outside pocket this is the pocket right here where my finger is you have deep sections like around the bag three inches you have three inches on that side it's like slanting downwards this way up here you won't have much room but down here you have much room i hope that makes sense this is the handle this is the other handle this is four inches so you do have an extra inch to play with on this side then on this side this is the 90 go same design one two three pockets on this side and you have the same design on this side actually you have three inches all around with this one so it looks like it's the same though for some reason this bag is a little bit small on the reviews on amazon but if that doesn't bother you it's fine and this is a side that has the outside pocket i wanted to show you the wheels of the bags from this side this is the level eight and this is how the wheels are attached and this is the other bag and i've heard reviews say that it really depends on how the wheels are attached that will make uh, the longevity of the bag it has the handle on this side and it has a handle this side so it's easy to carry it up on the cabin or something it's easy to grab it like that this one has does the same it has a handle over here and it has a handle over here the level eight has four little grooves for the handle one two three four the handle feels pretty sturdy it's not moving okay so this one has one two three also four for reference, I am 5'9", and this is where the 90 go reaches me, right here, and the level 8 reaches me right here. If you like the information you're seeing, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's really going to help me out. I try to bring you guys this very honest reviews. I'm, I'm a paying customer, and I want to help you make the right decision when you're you know, spending your money on something. Thank you so much guys for watching and safe travels. Bye.